Let's look at how to create a map using your AirTools program. AirTools is a program created by Digifly for managing your instrument. This is free to download and it covers all different aspects of settings, customizing certain settings, waypoints, um, airspaces, and much more. So, to create your map, the first thing you need to know is that you must have internet connection. Then, you should have previously downloaded your Air Tools. Now, when you download Air Tools, it will automatically create a file in your computer with subfiles and everything really nicely organized. So, when you're using Air Tools, it will know directly where to go to look for things or save files. You should also have a micro SD ready, and here is mine, which is an 8 gigabyte class 10 SD card, micro SD card, which is what we suggest you use. And the reason why you should have your SD card ready is because the maps to go or to be seen on your instrument need to be in this SD card. But this we will show you on a different video. Then you also need to have coordinates for your maps center and these need to be in decimal degrees format. And also have a radius in mind for your map. I'll, I'll give you some details about that later on. Let's take a look at how to get those decimal degrees coordinates. Now, what I have found to be the easiest way is by using Google Maps, not Google Earth, because Google Earth will give them to you in a different format. But Google Maps uses the simple decimal degrees format. Now, I am down in St. Augustine, Florida, but I already have a map of that area, so I've moved my map up a little uh, further north, north of Jacksonville. And the way I do it is I take my little arrow somewhere in the map and I click. If you noticed I got this small window popping up and you can see that I have the coordinates there in that format that I need them. I write them down we have 30.547 sorry 549 and minus 81.872. I use three decimal numbers. Now you notice the minus sign. That is very important because when you're using southern or western coordinates, you need to have that minus sign. Otherwise, the program will interpret it as them being north and east. Now let's go to Air Tools. On Air Tools, I'm going to go to the Maps tab. And here on the right side, you can see it says Map Center, Lat Longitude, Decimal Degrees, and the Radius. Default is 10, but like I was saying, you can choose different radius. Now, if you use, let's say, 100 kilometers or 150 kilometer radius, the instrument will have enough information to do all the calculations. But when you look at your map instrument on your Digifly, you may not see a lot of detail. So what we prefer to do is using smaller radius, and we go with usually 50 kilometers. And then because with the air tools, you can create adjacent maps, and the Digifly will take care of all that. Uh, that is the way we do it. And I will create another tutorial to show you how to create those adjacent maps. So let's stick to the first step, which is creating your first map. I am going to enter my coordinates 30.549 and the other set, which is minus, remember that minus. 81.872. Then I select a radius. In this case, I am going to go with 20 kilometers. 
to keep it small for the example. And after I've done this, filled out all the details, I go to create map. And a lot of times you will get this prompt from Air Tools, and it's just asking you to confirm that you want to download certain data from the Digifly website. You say yes, and it starts creating the map. Because it was a small map, it was fairly quick, and there we have the map. Now, I like to save a copy of it, first of all, in my computer. So I hit save, and like I mentioned, AirTools will go directly to the Digifly file and the Maps subfolder. Now I'm going to call this Jacksonville. I like to include the name. Then I like to include the coordinates I've used because that will be helpful when I create adjacent maps. 872. And I also like to include the radius. So 20 kilometers. I hit save. The type is the Digiflight map file. Okay. You can also save it directly to your SD card. I like to do it in two steps because I like to have a backup in my computer. Here it is. I'm inserting the micro SD into an adapter and that adapter into my computer. It's saying it's okay, so I am going to save it again. But this time I am going to the SD card. I don't need, you see this is a virgin card, I don't need to create any folders to put the map on the SD card. And in fact, the Digifly Air needs it to be on the root menu of your SD card so it can find it quickly. Minus 81, I am filling out the coordinate and the radius is 20. Okay, there it is. I just save it to the SD card and it is saved. Let's go see if it was saved. SD card, there it is. Okay, now once you are in the place, once you have the SD card in your Digifly, like I said, I will make a different video for that, but just a quick um, heads up. When you have your SD card in and your GPS gets uh, location, it will immediately check the SD card to see if you're around any of those areas of the maps you have that in, and it will just load that map so you don't have to... Um, do much. So like you see, it is very easy, very simple. And in other videos, I will show you the next steps. Thank you.